Hello everybody, this is the Corn Kid. <clears throat> this video is going to be some bad behavior in the early uh, part of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Starting a new character here, usually I would watch the introduction cutscene, uh, because I really love this cutscene, but I just want to kind of fast forward to the goofing off fun. Now I've played this game a lot, because uh, I'm a huge fanboy of the Souls series. But usually when I play, I'm kind of a goody two-shoes. That's not going to be this character. All right, so the first thing I heard people talk about, and one thing that blows my fucking mind, is you can die before you create your character. Now, that's not something that most people would normally do, but you can get into some fights before you get to character creation too, including one with a pretty tough character. Uh, actually. Let's see if I can go find that guy. So it's not like they didn't really warn you, but... I'm going to kind of zoom through this. Usually, also spend a lot of time customizing the characters that I make, you know, to try and have them look like people that I know, but because we're just sort of skating through this, we're just going to zoom through all this <laughs> stuff. stuff these NPCs they don't really do anything to you and in fact they can help you out later in the game but it's funny though I think this gal she whipped out a ladle and started trying to beat you with it some items that are kind of useful to have early in the game and hard to come by, or at least not cheap to come by. Now, if there's one thing that I learned from playing Bloodborne, it's don't trust anybody sitting in a chair.
in that sort of intro area, there's a lot of, I mean, it's got sort of the tutorial for playing the game, so if you're new to the game, you really don't want to skip that part. It also has a weapon that I really like uh, that you can find over there because it's really sweet for backstabbing people, which is kind of fun. Or, not fun, but <laughs> good, good game mechanic. there because oddly enough some of the characters here have killed me when I've been goofing off in the past. This is sort of my third take of the video. Oh. Oh. You come unhinged? Like him. He's a total wimp when you're talking to him. He's got pretty good armor and a good shield. So the he's got to fight. him is one thing, but as anyone who's played this game knows, this is probably the worst possible character to kill. Although you can get a very nice item for him to kill it right now. Try to do things to make the playthroughs harder on themselves. Killing her is probably the best way to make the playthrough as hard as possible. Although you do get the the feather item, which is kind of a nice item. You don't get it too much later in the game, at least in the original Dark Souls 2. I haven't played Scholar of the First Sin enough to know if that item becomes available. Or sweep done. Now when I tried doing this the other day, uh, just to see, because I had not ever done it before, um, this guy pretty much worked me. And apparently, given that there's a blood stain here, I'm not alone. Upon you, enough of this. You, you won't oh. 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 And there's actually one. NPC here. All right, there you are. Oh, and one without much time remaining. Just about not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well, suit yourself. What now? Like, 
despite attacking her, no health bar shows up. But, you know, once you've seen the error of your ways, there's nothing to do really, but... Wow, that wasn't nearly as spectacular as I was hoping for. I was trying to get all the way to the bottom of the pit there. Let's see if I can do that again. Also, for my friends that are new, if you're considering the game, when you die, you lose your souls, they make a little blood stain on the ground, you pick them up for better. Doesn't really help with uh, needing to sort of visit what I call the Drawing Lake Dermatology Clinic, because as you see, you're all jacked up now, you don't look like a person anymore. Or you look like a different person. So let's see if we can make it a little further down here on the draw. Dang it. Can't even die right. We'll try this one more time, and if it doesn't go, it doesn't go, and we'll just call it squaw. And we'll have one more death because, again, being a fanboy, I only wish I could be so grossly incandescent as the sun. So we're going to go off this way. With all of these deaths, I'm just doing my best to contribute to the overall counter that this game has for deaths for all the players. What a nice sunset. Alright, that's the end of this goofing off in Majula video. So that's basically all the bad behavior for things betwixt and Majula. Going after all the NPCs and, uh, you know, especially uh, the Emerald Herald, who by killing her means now you can't level up for the entire playthrough. Or really upgrade your healing items. So, yeah, you really don't ever want to do that. Alright, leave a comment, like the video. And I'm out.